Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another episode of Mod Source. Today we're going to be carrying on with a little bit of mariculture. Uh, so, last episode we left with doing the whole fish oil thing and whatnot. And we got a little bit stuck on it with the whole 30,000... Uh, 30 buckets or whatever it is and not being able to do it in here but it seems uh, but I did find out if you hit uses on that it will show you everything you can do you can actually just put sticks in there with 5,000 uh, miller buckets or five buckets worth so we I, I think we should be able to get away with that uh, so we're gonna give that one a go so we're gonna stick a stick in there and see what happens there you go it's making particle effect things now so it should be working. I'm not sure if you can like pump stuff into this or not. We can try and grab some fluid ducts and see what ha happens with that while that happens. Let's have a look. Uh, fluid, pressurized fluid conduits. Oh, that's working, kind of. Let's just get rid of all this real quick. Hmm, interesting. So we can put that to insert. Can we put this to extract? Oh, no way. Oh, no way, no way, no way. There you go, there you go. That's how you do that then, I guess. If we're to put you in now, are you gonna do things? It doesn't have the little particle effects. That's the thing, it's not making the little particles. So I'm not sure if there's an upgrade version you can have of this doesn't look like it so I'm not exactly sure what you can do with that I'm not sure if there's a way to upgrade it or not we let's have a quick look in the book actually she had oysters magnesium titanium burnt bricks crucible furnace ingot caster void bottle materials natural gas okay so it looks like it just keeps going back to the beginning um which kind of sucks uh that's quite unfortunate. It doesn't look like we can do it. It looks like we're gonna need a lot more than it's saying we need. Uh, we're just gonna take that out anyway. We'll just stick our sticks in there. So we need two more of them. And they're gonna cast up like so. So we'll leave that for a second. I'm wondering if there's a bigger vat or something or it's been replaced by something else. Let's have a quick look. Well, it definitely looks like mariculture. Fluid transposer. does not look like we can do anything else with that unfortunately oh well that kind of sucks a little bit but we'll live with it thing is now with this i can't tell when it's empty or not hmm, we'll just let it until the particles go away shouldn't take too long at all um but yeah, so we're going to carry on with the mariculture today and see how far we can get with it in uh, this episode. Uh, let's have a look. Fishing and breeding. Let's have a look into this book because I don't think we've had it so far. Uh, fishing and mariculture is very simple. All you need to get started is a fishing rod and some bait. There are various types of bait of various quantities. Qualities of which can be some with sort of a... Bait is obtained in a few ways such as making bread or catching minnow. However, your best... Most of your bait you'll gather by the use of a sifter. Okay, so let's make one of these little sifter things and get that on the go. Um, so where are we with this? Let's right click on that. We've got ourselves a sifter here. Gonna need a fishing net. That's not too hard to make at all. We'll stick that in there like so. I did not know you can make fishing nets. Let's make a couple of them and let's get some fishing nets. I just want to quickly see how these things work. They seem pretty funky. So we're going to go and try that and see how that works out for us. Do, do. I wonder if you can like use them as a block or are they just used to create other things. Oh, that's a bit funky. That's a bit weird. I like that. I do like that. That looks really, really cool. For some reason, it plays down too then. That's really weird. That's really, really weird. I'm not sure what that does exactly. I think it might just be used for crafting other things. But it looks quite funky when you place it down like that. Might actually make quite good... Uh, go into the hole. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, it might make quite good for, like, pathing decorations and stuff like that. But we got ourselves a sifter. So cool. That is what the first thing it says. 
Uh, you're able to catch various species of fish as well as some other random loot while fishing. You'll catch some different fish based depending on what biome you're fishing in. A lot of the fish you catch will be raw and only a few can be caught alive. Even then they have to be caught without leaving the water. So fish underwater or using an auto fisher is best. Sifters are how you obtain most of your bait. Uh, this is needed for fishing. Place two blocks next to each other like a double chest. Then right click items on top of the sifter and then right click again to sift. Install and basic storage upgrade on the sifter will give you give it an inventory. Okay, so what kind of things do we sift on it? Hasn't really specified on that. So let's just give this a kraken and see what we're doing here. Oh, there we go, we made the sifter. Let me guess, let's try some sand, see what this does. Nope, that doesn't seem to work. So what else can we put on there? Dirt? Oh, sweet. That seems to be how you get your bait. Let's quickly grab our sticks out of there. There we go, we got our sticks. So we can use that to make a rod. Uh, uses, da da. What else can you make with these? Golden thread. What is golden thread used for? Celestial mirror. What's the cele Oh, you need another star for that. Some funky stuff right there. Uh, but we're going to avoid that for the time being. We're just going to carry on with this. Uh, so let's read a little bit more into the fishing side of things here. Uh, fishing nets. Fishing nets when placed on water over time will randomly generate fish as if they're being caught with a reed rod. You will need some way to collect the item entities that are produced. Uh, fish oil is needed in order to, to make polished sticks and polished titanium rods, which is what you need to create higher tier fishing rods. In order to obtain fish oil, you need to melt fish in a crucible. For any crafty sticks and rods, you'll need to soak og lopes in titanium oil in a vat. Okay, so it's still saying here like 30,000 uh, 30, 30, millibuckets or 30 buckets to get a log. But the thing is, it can't contain that much, which is sort of where I'm a bit like. Urgh. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what goes on there. So we've got all these different types of fishing rods. Uh, we've got RF fishing rod, reed fishing rod, wooden fishing rod. Wooden fishing rod seems to have the m bit better durability than the reed one. So I'm glad we did make that. I have no idea where we're going to get any of this stuff from here <laughs> from though. Uh, let's have a look and see if we can put anything else in it. Maybe some clay. Will clay work? Clay is normally generally found underwater, so maybe that will work. Nope. Put you back. Uh, let's try some grass. Now that's only given us this one for some reason. Let's just chuck a load of stuff in here real quick that we don't need on us. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's have a look. Any gravel? Can gravel give us anything? No, so it seems like you can only sift dirt. And I just put my book in. Um, fishing book. Oh, we got three nets. Let's go give these nets a shout, actually. Let's give them a try out and see what happens with these. Um, I'm going to be really interested to see. There you go. Play some nets. Uh, we're going to see if we can get any of this other bait. Have a look in here. So... Only reed fishing rod can use that. So how do we get reed fishing rods? Uh, we need sugar cane. There we go. One, two, three. We got that. So we can use a reed fishing rod, I guess, just for the time being. It's got a little bit of a worse durability on it, uh, but it'll do. It'll do for the time being. So let's have a look over here again. How do you cast a fishing rod? Maybe there's a key bind. This isn't going so well this episode. I've not really done any research. I've just jumped on and I thought, hey, let's do it. Um, doesn't seem to be one. Come on, there's got to be Mariculture or something. Activate button. Um, button one. No. <laughs> Go back down. Oh, the scroll button sucks on this. Uh, Mariculture toggle button. Nope. 
So what is that under? Mariculture gameplay. Uh, let's say equals and the minus button. No, okay, so that's not doing anything at the minute. Um, that's really, really weird. Don't understand why it's doing that. There are four main fishing rods introduced. Catch and vanilla rod. There are catch and fish and vanilla rod. Each fishing rod can use different types of bait as well, having different durabilities and enchantability. Okay, so you can enchant these. That's a good thing. No, we don't want to eat it. God. Right, so let's have a look. I'm pretty sure we can't use that. No, can't use that one for some reason. It uh, won't let us use that either. Unless you stick them together like that. Like that. Nope. Doesn't do that either. So we're going to be learning some mariculture literally from the basics here. Uh, blows list durabilities. Analyzer. Fishing, please Kate, just make sure you have a rod and bait and you'll be used together. Place the bait next to the fishing rod in your hot bar. Okay, so there we go. That's what the problem was, it seems. So we come over here. This has given it a hell of a lot of more realistic sort of ability than vanilla. You got to put bait on it and everything. This would be a really cool thing to add into vanilla, actually, having baitable fishing rods and stuff like that. Come on, bop down. Bop. No, it's just doing a little silly bop at the minute. We don't want that. We want it to go full on bop. Oh, we're actually getting the particle effects now as well. There you go. And we got our first mariculture fish. Woohoo! Raw undead fish. What can we use this for? Um, advanced impurity upgrade. Or we can make sushi out of it. That's pretty cool. We can use kelp warp. How do you, how do you make that? we just dried kelp by the looks of it. I'm guessing you just put kelp in the furnace for that one. Uh, we can make soup. We can make a fish meal. So there's loads of like different food crafting that we can make with this. Put that in a crucible furnace. That'll give us a bucket's worth. Uh, protein liquefier. What? Put that in there. It's going to give us smoked salmon. We can use So we can use this as witchery as well just to get ourselves some foul fume. But we're not going to be doing that. Okay, so that's really, really weird. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's see what else we can get. I'll will, I, I will go in a second and we'll see what enchantments we can place on this as well. I'm guessing we, because we got the advanced crafting table, we can just chuck any enchantments that we want on it. Um, be quite interesting to see what we can get on there though. I want us to try and get up to the top tier of fishing rod as soon as possible. I just need to figure out how to get all the different kinds of bait. It doesn't, it's not very specific on bait at the minute. Doesn't seem to be. Come on, come bite the stupid bait. There you go. Oh, we got a standard vanilla fish. Awesome. That's just exactly what we wanted. Um, so let's have a look in the book. Let's just have a look. Mineral, fresh water, cod, saline water. How do you how do you tell the different water again? This device is crucial when looking for good locations. Right click on the block in the air will give you tensions. Salinity of those coordinates helping you better understand the environment. So any fish with a compass pretty much will give you like a little thermometer probe thing. So let's quickly I don't think I've made a compass in this game before. No, I haven't. Um I th think I remember how to make it. Uh so weird doing vanilla recipes. Tell you what, going back to vanilla is gonna be the hardest experience of my life. It's the other way around. I'm such, such an idiot. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Iron. One, two, three, four. Compass. Along with this raw undead fish, because that doesn't... Why are you no mick? Why? Where is it? Okay, we can pretty much use any fish but the raw undead fish for the looks of it. Right, so let's have a look at this. I'm not sure if this has a durability uh, durability on it or not. Uh, let's have a look. Air block. Right, precise water temperature, 4 degrees. Biome salinity is... I, I believe I'm saying that. Sal... 
salinity. Time is day, precise water temperature is four degrees. So now we have, we have a look in here. Uh, biome de default, this is just a list of default temperatures for each biome. Okay, okay, fresh water, fresh water, saline, fresh, 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 fresh. Okay, so it's telling me all of this stuff. So if we have a look in here, called saline water, minus three to 20 degrees. Uh, Minow, we need fresh water. Uh, brackish, fresh, fresh, fresh. I, I think that's just a couple of the fish there, because I don't see the one that we caught on there. Um, cod can be caught here. Automatic fisher. That looks quite interesting. We'll have to look into that. I kind of want to do a little bit of manual at the thing. Uh, we can do fish breeding and everything as well. Fish feeder. What? Hatchery. What? There is a lot to read here. Right. Let's go have a look and see if we can find some better water than this to go fishing in. There's like a little lake here. Let's have a look at this. Biome salinity, fresh water, temperature 4 degrees. Not good enough. Let's go over to um, the savannah. Is it savannah or is it prairie? I think it's a prairie biome over here, actually. Oh, we got Dan's little dock. We use Dan's little dock. 19 degrees, fresh water. Let's have a look and see what we can catch over here. So this is going to be quite interesting. There's like loads and loads and loads of stuff to be looking into when we're getting into this. Uh, but it looks like you can breed fish, you can feed fish, you can auto fish. Uh, so we'll eventually get to the auto fishing stage. I kind of want to go through the rods myself first though. Because I, because once we enchant these things up, they're going to be like a hell of a lot better. I'm not sure what enchantments you can get. I'm not sure if Mariculture adds enchantments. Uh, that's going to be a little something that we're going to have to investigate into. But it should be quite fun. I know like the whole fishing thing isn't the most exciting thing in the world. But I will try and do my best to make it interesting as possible. I'm not gonna do loads of this on camera, don't worry. It's not gonna be like, what do we get, what do we get, what do we get? Oh, we got another raw fish. Boring. Don't give me my fucking vanilla fish. It's boring. We want new fish. And we wanna breed them and make other fish. And then have lots of happy little fish running around. I think like Clip Addict has like a water, like a fish tank. I'm not sure. We, we'll go check his base out in a minute. I'm pretty sure he's got something set up somewhere. I know he showed me a picture of it. I have no idea where it is. And I still don't know what's going on with the server, by the way. So I'll keep you guys updated with that. No, I don't want a puffer fish either. Why are you giving me such bad fish? I'm not even getting books or anything. This is terrible. Might have to do a bit this when I go back to vanilla because you get books and name tags and stuff like that. It'd be very, very useful because, like, in this game, in like mods and stuff, it's really easy to obtain a lot of the stuff. Like, there's probably a recipe for name tags somewhere from some mod. Um, enchanted books, they're so easy to get, as you see. You don't need enchanted books, you just drop things in there. <laughs> And you basically just put the levels that you want and it will pretty much put it on the item, which is a little bit sort of overpowered. It sort of takes the mystery and the fun out of enchanting things. Come on. I'm getting such bad things. We had like a little one undead fish and that was it. And then the rest has been a little bit poopy since then, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's have a look here, actually. Yeah, see, we can just stick all of these on right now and... Have cool things. Um, but yeah, so we're going to carry on with a little bit more fishing. I have got a lot of reading to do. Just fishing and breeding is just, at, on its own, is a whole different level. Fish feeding and stuff like that. Well, let's quickly go over to Clip Addict's base, though. And then we'll end the episode up. I'm going to go do some reading, because obviously I was very, very unprepared this episode. <laughs> let's have a look. Let's see. There you go. This is... Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, <laughs> I see, I see, I see. We need to make the vat bigger. Okay, these vats stack together by the looks of it. I feel like such an idiot now. Um, okay, so at least we know how to do it. He seems to have a load of sieve things over here. I'm going to have to ask him uh, how you get stuff like bait worms and whatnot. He's got tons of pearls. So he's got like 
all these different Mara culture enchantments like Blink. I think these are Blink. Step Up, Leapfrog, stuff like that. And this would appear to be his Mara culture thing, I do believe. Oh, wow, what is that? Ineffable Glass. Oh, that is cool. Looks like he's just got pearls going constantly. Oh, no, put it back, put it back, put it back. Oh, I don't want it, I don't want it. <laughs> uh oh, I think I might have broken something. Maybe I shouldn't have touched that. Maybe it'll respawn, hopefully. Oops. What's this incubator? Loads of fish in there. He's got some spot loaders. Got a ton of fish meal. That's guess I'm guessing that's what you feed fish with. He's got loads of fish in here. Fish in here. Fish up here. He's got a vat. What have you got in there? Gelid cryothium. That's used for um Oh wow. These are really, really weird things that I don't know anything about. And I'm worried. I don't want to break anything. I have no idea what this is. As you can tell, it's been a while since I've been over here. I'm going to guess this links all up to his ME system. It's like a big plus sign up there. Please say this is a giant battery. <laughs> Please. Oh, I kind of want to look underneath it, see if he's got a big negative sign. Which I hope he has. I hope he have. Um, this seems to be one of his, his access terminal. Oh, you need to lock it. Oh, I can take things out, but I can't put things back in. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, and he's got everything around it over here. But yeah, that fish thing looks really, really cool. At least we figured out the fat problem for the next episode. I can work on that. This here looks rad as shit. Oh, nice. I see how that's going. Now I see how that's going. So that's basically down, connecting up to that. It's crucibling them up and then putting them in there. Making things a little bit glitchy by the looks of it. I think that's only when I'm flying there by the looks of it. Um... But yeah, so at least we figured a couple of things out by coming over here. I didn't know he had these trees. Uh, but yeah, this place is looking really, really good. I'm really liking it. I really hope that pearl respawns itself. I'm going to I'm gonna leave it in the chest just in case. Uh, we've got Sea Witch's Guide now, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so that is going to be it for the episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm going to go do some research. It definitely looks like I've got some work to do uh, to actually get caught up in Mariculture. It seems like a lot of work and grindy stuff. Uh, but it will be fun. Um, we've got to get a place set up. I might go build a little fishing shack somewhere uh, next episode. Or I, Yeah, I think we'll build it next episode. I'll go find a nice location. We can do some fishing. Um, I have like probably have like a load of portals in it to different sort of fishing areas and stuff like that because obviously we read in the book there we got to go to different places. Also, Clip Alex added a nice little face onto um, this witchery hat with a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so derpy. it looks so derpy. Looks so derpy. Black wool slab. Nice. Uh, but yeah, like I said, end the episode. Thank you guys very much for watching like the video if you liked it uh, subscribe if you want to see more content i i'm getting back into minecraft i'm going to do a couple more of these videos i've also got some vanilla stuff coming and that or oh, it should be out by now yeah yeah the the vanilla stuff should be out by now uh but yeah i'm really looking forward to getting back into vanilla uh but yes thank you guys very much for watching again and i'll see you guys next episode goodbye